Good day, everyone. This is Barnman. And Elio77. We welcome you back to Quest Calendars 2024, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Today is Monday, October 14th, 2024. AKA Moon's Day, Harvest Tide. As you make your way along the bridge, a feeling of unease washes over you. The atmosphere grows tense, and you can't shake the suspicion that something malevolent lurks beneath the bridge. With cautious steps, you use your dexterity and stealth to sneak across, hoping to avoid any potential danger. First thing you need to do is sneak to the center of the bridge. This is a stealthy roll. You got a plus two on that. It's also a dexterity, so you're gonna have plus five all together. 19. Your stealthy approach is flawless. You move across the bridge without making a sound, and whatever malevolent presence might be lurking below remains oblivious to your passage. Gain a plus two bonus to continue crossing the bridge. You're still gonna need to continue with your stealthy roll, as well as your dexterity. You have a plus seven this time. Four. Despite your best efforts, your footfalls on the surface create resounding vibrations, alerting whatever malevolent presence lurks below. Sinister sounds emanate from beneath the bridge as danger approaches and you must prepare for a confrontation. A large predator climbs around from underneath the stone bridge. Its screeches are deafening as it begins to crawl towards you. The enemy emits a disorienting high-pitched sonar scream that disrupts your equilibrium. You better attack while you can still do so. You can try seeing if Neville can help you with the attack. Yeah, Neville Furbottom. Mm -hmm. Need a three or a four? Two. All right. No. Uh, oh, wait, you needed a four for that. Sorry. Just a four for the attack. Royal Command? Three. Still need a four on that. More royal. You're gonna use last one, okay. Two. A two. No help from Neville this time. You're gonna go ahead and do your attack roll though. It's plus seven. Plus 12. 19, it is a hit. Let's go ahead and see how much damage you are able to do. Uh, it's this and this. Three. Okay. We'll say six all together, and 10, 16. It is a complete hit, and you do not have to defend yourself this round. The enemy extends its sharp talons and makes slashing attacks from above. Let's go ahead and see if you can attack successfully. Six plus seven. That's gonna be a 13, an unsuccessful attack. You do not have your Flurry of Daggers anymore. The only thing you do have is Wall of Knives for defense if needed. You're going to need to defend, though. You want your defense team to come to your aid? Frost 12, go! Need a four? Able. Okay. Seven, eight, or nine? Seven. Seven. That's going to get you a plus one. Sky? Four. You need a seven, eight, or a nine. A uh, re-roll. A uh, six, that's so close. And then lastly, Tusk. Tusk is unable to assist on that. Your defense though is a plus nine with that added defense from your Mask of Feathers. 15. A successful defense. The sharp talons though, slashing towards you does cause you to lose one health. You now have a 20. Great on the sword. Yeah. Her store's ears. Let's go ahead and get your next attack in. A two. That is rough. Unsuccessful on your attack. You're going to go ahead and need to defend. You do have plus nine. Fourteen. Successful defense. 
as the enemy takes flight from a concealed alcove and swoops down towards Korra with incredible speed, she gets slashed with one hit point worth of damage. Oof. The enemy lurking under the bridge runs away from Korra, not wanting to fight anymore, and Korra finds left behind one Amber. Yay. Korra continues her journey to find the last guardian. Eagle healing. Eagle's gonna try to heal? Yep. Not a four. Uh, we use a health potion? I don't think so. Cora has still eight health potions. All right, well, we hope that you'll join us tomorrow as Cora continues her way toward the last guardian. Farewell. Bye now. <laughs>